This is Eugene Padrickovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer C732T Chromebook, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an Acer C732T Chromebook. Before we start, a couple notes. Um, this Chromebook, this is the T version, which stands for touch. And this comes into in two versions, the touch and the non-touch. Uh, the non-touch is the just plain C732, and the touch is C732T. And as I'm showing you on the bottom label, you can see the model or the part number. The second thing is, is uh, usually when you open and close a Chromebook, it'll turn on by itself. So you just press the power button for it to shut down before you start any work on it. And the third thing is, I'm going to show you the toolkit we're going to use. We have a PH0 or PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver. We have a metal spudger to pry things open. A hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. And a pair of metal tweezers also to pry things open and to manipulate any cables. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And for this particular model, it's pretty easy. Just uh, flip it open, uh, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and you'll hear snapping sounds and just go around the screen like so. And it pops off real easy. Next is the screen. So it's secured by uh, four screws and the screws are two at the top and two at the bottom. And we're going to remove the four screws while having the screen tilted back a little bit. And the reason we want to tilt it back is because we don't want the screen falling forward when we remove all the screws. So that's three and that's four. All right, next we lift up the screen and carefully lay it down on top of the keyboard, being careful not to touch the power button. Next, we're gonna release the connector from the screen. There's some adhesive tape. And what we wanna do is use our hobby knife to start a corner of the adhesive tape and then peel the adhesive tape back and then there's a thin wire bar that we have to lift up to release the connector so we I bent the connector a little bit that's okay so we lift up this wire bar without bending the connector and like this and then the last step is just to pull the connector out like so and the screen is released I'm going to show you real quick how to put the connector back in you slide the connector in and you should feel two clicks and that's when it's properly engaged. If we get a close-up you see the two sides of the connector are flush with each other. There should not be a gap between the seam of each side of the connector. So that's a properly connected connector and then the bar can go down easily. Okay, so we lift the connector out and we take a look at this screen. So this particular screen has a touch layer in it integrated into the screen. And like I said, there's two versions, one that has touch and none that, one that doesn't have touch. And they're not interchangeable. And though there's one way, two ways to distinguish a touch screen from a non-touch screen. They'll have different part numbers. The part number for this particular touch screen is B116XAK01.0. And also, the touch screen will have a larger 40-pin connector instead of the smaller 30-pin connector for the more common non-touch screen. And finally, the touch screen usually has a glossy finish, and the non-touch screen for this screen size usually has a matte finish. Other than that, the procedure for the touch and the non-touch versions are identical. The releasing connector and removing the bezel are pretty much the same. So, to get a replacement screen, uh, like I said, for the 
touch version. The part number is B116XAK01.0. When you do get your replacement screen in, it might not have the exact same part number, but just make sure it has a 40 pin connector and it says touch and it's a glossy screen. And for the non touch, it's 30 pin connector and has a matte screen. So we at Screen Surgeons, we specialize in Chromebook parts, mostly for school districts. We have both the not touch and the non touch version available. We guarantee compatibility and we ship this exact same toolkit that we use for free with the screens that we sell. And also, if you're watching this video, if you work for a school district, we will send you a free toolkit to try us out. Just uh, contact us through our website at www.screensurgeons.com. So if you work for a school or not, to order this screen, uh, go to www.screensurgeons.com, our website. And then there will be a search form on the front page for you to fill out, and then I will lead you to buy the right screen online. Also, for schools, there's a schools tab at the top, and you can fill out a form if you need more than one part. All right, once you do get the screen on, in, reconnect the connector like I showed you, put the tab down, put the adhesive tape down, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the frame, the plastic frame or the bezel back in. Okay, uh, not too hard. That's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeon.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.